Welcome back, everybody, to Kleshka Picks, week number 13. What is going on in football? Aaron Rodgers is already back practicing after tearing his Achilles in the first game of this season. Russell Wilson is looking unlimited as the Broncos are on a good win streak, and I am dominating in fantasy football. Things are wild. I need to roll the intro to get over it. Starting with Thursday Night Football, we got my Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys, two teams that played on Thanksgiving last week, one with a happier ending than the other. My Seahawks were not the team with a happy ending. We had our Thanksgiving spoiled by the 49ers on our home turf. They are the better team offensively and defensively. I think the league knows that. And the Cowboys, they destroyed the Commanders on Thanksgiving, as they should. One of the teams that's always playing on Thanksgiving is the Cowboys, and their defense is looking its best. We got Bland breaking the pick six season record. He is now number one all time. Congratulations. That defense performing well every single game. Congrats. And the offense really doesn't have to put on its best efforts when the defense is just going to shut down the team. But the offense is also solid. So with this week, I think the Cowboys are easily the better overall team. I hate to say that as a Seahawks fan. But I just don't think our offense, especially without Kenneth Walker again, most likely, is going to suffer. And I think the Cowboys are going to beat my Seahawks 31-20. to Chargers and Patriots. The Chargers last week played primetime football against the Baltimore Ravens. And the Baltimore Ravens defense absolutely shut down their offense. The Patriots had no offense. They even used two quarterbacks. And that still didn't work. This is the dark days of the New England Patriots, not the Tom Brady-led Patriots that we're used to seeing being so successful. It is quite the opposite. And going this week, the Chargers defense, they are known to give up points, and they will score alongside that. But I think going up against the Patriots in such a weak offense, I think they will actually have a great defensive day because I just don't think the Patriots are going to be doing much scoring. So give me the Chargers handling this one pretty easily, not going to lie. 28 to 17. Lions and Saints. The Lions played on Thanksgiving as they always do, but they did not get that win that they were searching for. The Packers took that one and they did get going late in the game, but the Packers had already sealed the fate for the Lions. They had run out of time and they lost. Then with the Saints, their offense was pretty weak last week. The Falcons defense was definitely making them struggle. And I think this week we will see the Lions get back on track. I think their offense and their defense a overall team effort is way better than what the Saints have to offer. And I think the defense is definitely going to make the Saints hurt. And I think the offense will run very good through the passing attack of Jared Goff and Amon Ross St. Brown. You throw in Sam Laporta, the rookie tight end as well. I think they're going to find their stride again. And it was just a little bump in the road on Thanksgiving. But I think they get back on track. And I think they win this one 30 to 20. Everybody say hello to my mid matchup of the week. The Falcons and the Jets. <laughs> When we talk about the mid matchup of the week, we don't talk about it long. The Falcons, they won last week. Congrats. Good for them. And the Jets, they lost on the very first Black Friday game. We're not going to talk about these two teams long. They don't got much going for them this season. Aaron Rodgers is back practicing for the Jets, but it really doesn't mean anything with the way the Jets played this season. So I'm just going to tell you right now, I think Falcons win 24 to 13. Cardinals and Steelers. The Steelers won last week. They had their first 400 yard game in what felt like forever. And it happened right after the firing of Matt Canada, of course course who was dooming that offense according to many and the Cardinals their offense also felt pretty doomed last week the Rams destroyed them and their offense was not able to keep up I think the Steelers defense is definitely going to keep the Cardinals offense low again this week and I think the Steelers are going to start getting things going getting the ball rolling with their offense after finally getting Matt Canada out of there we saw it last week and I think that ball just continues to roll and continues to get bigger and the offense continues to shine like it should have been but Matt Canada was keeping them locked up and not allowing them to shine so give me the Steelers winning this one 21 to 17. Colts and Titans the Colts beat the Buccaneers last week and a pretty solid game for them Jonathan Taylor was a huge reason why they won that game last week and they will be without him for a couple weeks a thumb injury will keep him out two to three weeks they say and the Titans they won last week but they have not been a good-looking team this season. It was against the Panthers. It's pretty much a layup for anybody who plays the Panthers. 
Derrick Henry found the end zone twice. And this week, I don't think we see the Titans looking good. I think the Colts and their defense are going to put them back at the bottom of that roller coaster that the Titans always play. They'll have the highest of the highs, lowest of lows, and I think they go back to those lowest of lows. And I think the Colts' defense is going to be a huge reason why. I think the offense will still be fine. Michael Pittman is a solid receiver for them. I think they'll rely on that. Zach Moss is a good backup to have with the absence of Jonathan Taylor. So give me the Colts winning this one, 24 to 20. Dolphins and Commanders. The Dolphins did some blowing out last week. They destroyed the Jets during the Black Friday game. Raheem Mostert had a good game. Jalen Waddle was killing it with the receiving yards. And the Commanders, they were blown out last week on Thanksgiving by the Cowboys. I think the high electric velocity offense of the Dolphins is going to be way too much for the Commanders to handle. I don't think their offense has the power to be able to go step for step with them. And I think it's just going to be due to the fact that the Dolphins offense is going to be able to keep it up and last longer in a four quarter game than the Commanders will be able to. So give me the Dolphins winning this one 33 to 20. Broncos and Texans. The Texans played great offensively last week. CJ Stroud had another good game, but they did just come up short with the win and the game tying field goal. It doinked just short off the crossbar and that ended up leading to a loss. And the Broncos, they have been on a hot streak. Russell Wilson has looked unlimited. Mr. Unlimited. He's unleashing his alter ego. And I think the defense was huge for them last week. The offense was solid. And the whole team overall has been playing great during this win streak. And I think even though CJ Stroud has looked really good and the best quarterback out of the draft class, I feel like the Broncos defense is going to be the reason it helps them win and the Texans defense is going to be the reason it helps them lose because I just don't think the defense is as strong as the Broncos. I think Russell Wilson is going to have a better day quarterback wise and I think the Broncos win 30 to 24. Buccaneers and Panthers. The Panthers have just had a horrendous season. They fired their head coach Frank Reich. Nothing has been going right for the Panthers this year. The Buccaneers, they've had little glimmers of hope. Last week was not one of those glimmers. Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers offense was struggling against that Colts defense. And I think they will get back on track here, as most teams do when they play the Panthers. I think we will just see them dominate. I think even though last week we saw Baker and Mike Evans connect and have a successful game, it did come with an L. But I don't think that'll be the case this week. I think he goes back to Mike Evans, maybe involves Chris Godwin, and leans on their young running backs and the whole offense as a whole is going to have a great game. So give me the Buccaneers winning this one. 30 to 13. Browns and Rams. The Browns lost last week and they were taking big hits to their quarterback, suffering injuries. That has been the case for their quarterback position all year and they've been able to fight through that. Their defense has been able to help them stay in games and the Rams, their offense is finally getting back to full power. They got Kyron Williams back. Cooper Cup has been banged up throughout the season, but he's been able to play and the rise of Puka Nakua has been great for them. And I think that is going to be the reason they win this week. I think the banged up players on the Browns is going to hurt them. It's going to start to catch up with them. We saw that last week with the Broncos and I think it's going to continue this week against the Rams, especially like I said, getting full strength with their offense, getting all those guys back on the field. I think the Rams are going to sneak this one out and win 27 to 24. I think this is an easy winner for game of the week. Put a star on it. The 49ers and the Eagles. The Eagles had a great game with the Bills last week. They're always having to stay and fight in these games, play from behind and end up the winner. Jalen Hurts did that in overtime for the team last week. And the 49ers, they had a great Thanksgiving. The whole offense was performing amazing. Trust me, I know. I have like five of their guys on my fantasy football team and they always perform for me. They're a huge reason why I'm dominating in fantasy football and why the team is dominating in real life. I think this is going to be a week where we finally see the Eagles run out of luck. Like I said, they are playing from behind a lot this season, and I think the 49ers are going to be one of the few teams that will keep them behind. They have one of the top defenses in football, and that offense with all its weapons is going to be hard to stop. I think the Eagles are going to be there offensively, but I just don't think through all four quarters they will be able to get the lead. I think the 49ers keep them down, and I think the 49ers will beat the Eagles in a great game, 30 to 27. Chiefs and Packers, the Chiefs beat the Raiders last week, allowing Patrick Mahomes to get some confidence back after we'd seen this offense struggle for a couple of games. 
And the Packers, they got a tons of confidence winning on Thanksgiving, beating their division rival, the Lions. And this is the first time Patrick Mahomes will be playing at Lambeau Field. I could not believe that when I heard that. But it's true, ladies and gentlemen. And I think the Chiefs are going to get the wheels going again. The engines are starting to rev. Their offense is finding its way again after a few bumps in their road. And I think Patrick Mahomes is going to have no problem playing in Lambeau. I think he'll get that connection back with Travis Kelsey. And I think overall the offense will be able to succeed off of that. We're seeing the young guys like Pacheco and Rasheed Rice starting to take bigger roles and have bigger games. So give me the Chiefs winning because their offense, I think, is going to outplay the Packers offense. And I think they win 31 to 20. Bengals and Jags. The Jags won last week. They were able to escape Houston by them missing a field goal by just inches. Going off that crossbar like we talked about earlier. And the Bengals, they suffered a loss. Like I said in a previous episode with the Joe Burrow injury, it's not looking good for the Bengals in the rest of the season. The backups, I don't think, will be able to get the job done. There's nobody behind Joe Burrow that I think is going to be able to save them. And I think the Jags have looked great all year. They are looking like one of the top teams. Their offense was amazing last week. Like I said, I believe Trevor Lawrence and CJ Stroud were going to battle, and they did through for tons of yards, touchdowns. And I think overall, Jacksonville is a better team, especially with the position the Bengals are in. It's not looking too good for them. So give me the Jags beating them 30 to 17. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know in the comments. Do you think Aaron Rodgers plays a game this season? He is starting to practice. Will he make it to the field and play a game is my question. Like the video, subscribe, tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, grandpa, pets, friends, brother, sister, and uncle, everybody you know to subscribe if they haven't already. I got this, you got this, we all got this, and I will see you next time.